Hey guys, what is up? It's Riley here coming back at you with another video and today we're going to be doing Purim's Lost Chapter Chaos Fight. So of course we've been doing Final Fantasy 13 fashion here as always since that's our favorite thing in the whole wide world when it comes to Opera Omnia. We have our good buddy Noel here, we have Hope, and of course we have Lightning and we just have an RNA friend here just so we can kind of sweep in the end and keep the momentum going. Um, since we don't really have a lot of AOE damage, I, I mean, I guess you can say Hope does and so does Noel with his EX, but that's pretty much it. So we just have RNA to do a little bit of cleanup at the kind of like more towards the end of the fight and that way Lightning can kind of sweep up the rest of the victory. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the fight. I do have to say though, the brand new banner that just came out, the free one with Garnet, Garnet. <laughs> Uh, with uh, Rem and Fang. I actually did get Fang's uh, EX weapon. I did throw a couple gems in it and I know you're probably like, Riley, why the heck would you do that? It's free. Yes, I know, but um, I really need Rem's EX weapon, like, badly. Um, not that I... I guess not that I, like, don't have enough support characters, because I definitely do, but I want Rem as one of my support characters, because she's honestly very good as time goes on. She literally is one of the top tier supports so i definitely want to add her to my roster if you know she's available because she won't be i don't think she'll become available again for quite some time if i remember correctly she does not come back for a while so if you haven't been able to snag her ex from the previous machina banner then um i would i would recommend trying to get her maybe like on the third day after the third free pull if it doesn't give you anything you need maybe put a little bit of tickets on it Maybe like one free, like one 5k pool if you can handle that, but I wouldn't really go too crazy in depth with it. Since we are getting closer and closer to the burst era and the healthy era, uh, things are going to be quite different for when it comes to resources um, by that time frame. Because then you really need to start saving up for what you, uh, what you want. Because burst weapons and LDs are, well I, which I should say LDs are really where it's at, that's what you honestly need. And the burst weapons just kind of like the little cherry on top of the cake. But we're definitely getting to the era where things are going to get start starting to get pretty scarce when it comes to these banner pools because every every single character that like kind of comes out is in this kind of frame where SE thinks it's really funny to I guess in a sense require you to pool to do their crazy shenanigan Lufinia fights. But um, trust me, like if you have a good roster going throughout this Chaos Era and you are able to kind of keep that up during the, I guess, you know, during the beginning portions of the Burst and LD Era, then I suppose you should be fine. I, maybe if you like pull every now and then you should be okay, just kind of adding that one character to your roster every now and then will be fine. I don't think you really need to go crazy on like every single banner, because that's what unfortunately I do in JP. Uh, that's why, like, I, I find myself having so many resources on the global side when it comes to gems and tickets, because I pretty much learned my lesson. Like, okay, Riley, you need to chill out and not pull on every single banner you see. But some, some, like, craziness happens that makes me pull, and it's like, okay, well, I end up needing, like, Cloud's burst weapon, because I have his entire kit. So I told myself I wasn't pulling, for example, on Zonday's banner, and I ended up going for him anyway because I wanted Cloud's burst weapon before it disappeared. So in the midst of all of that, I ended up getting Zonday's LD and his EX, like all of his kit, and I was just like, okay, fine. <laughs> so that's kind of like what happens, what ends up happening to me. I guess the willpower that I have in the JP side is pretty, pretty dull. <laughs> all right. Um. I think he's gonna cover himself, right? Oh no, okay. I thought he was gonna cover himself. I gotta say though, this one, this fight here when it, um, for Chaos, when it comes to this particular team, it's pretty, uh, sketchy since Hope doesn't really heal that much, <laughs> except for his yeah. And when he does heal, it's, as you can see there, it's not like a lot. So I, you have to be very careful, I guess, when you're using this type of team, because I don't really have a lot of heals either. To, to really catch our HP back up in time, I guess you can say. So I gotta be, like, super careful. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll just do Brutal Sanction. For the battery. Yeah. 
Alright, I think now is when he's going to be doing the whole... Yeah, that's what I figured. The whole stand-in crap. That's super annoying. Honestly, I was hoping that would break, but I guess not. <laughs> oh my, this is like the most annoying mechanic in the game, I feel. Like, it, it, ugh. Why is that a thing? Just why? I really don't want to waste another skill right now. I can just thank you. Die, please. Alright, now I unfortunately have to attack this one. This is not going as good as my initial clear with this team comp. So I was really hoping I didn't have to waste the skill, but I ended up having to do it anyway. Hopefully this EX gets it to a point where uh, Noel can finish it off. Ooh, yeah, we need that heal. little way here and we don't have to do anything else. Um HP attack, maybe? Hey, okay. I think his HP attack also ignores defense. I'm not entirely sure on that, don't quote me. All I know for sure is that his EX definitely ignores defense. Which comes in handy. I like this music. <laughs> Alright. I wasn't actually gonna use Sierra instead of Lightning, uh, but the fact that they heal their debuffs, or I guess dispel their own debuffs, is one, annoying, and two, obviously very <laughs> detrimental to Sierra's whole kit, because that's what she relies on. Alright, so the whole spiel what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna focus down one particular ad, so I'll just choose A for example, and we're just gonna have Noel and Lightning just focus that one down and hope just gonna kinda do his little HP splash, and then I'll bring Arne in as the, as like the two ads that we focus on kinda dwindle down. That'll be like the, the goal here. Actually worked out having the EX there. So I can continue to delay the all attack. I low-key kinda wish they were weak against um water. Cause I feel like Leviathan would actually do pretty good here to slow these guys down. Oh sh I just got rid of my own regen. <laughs> Yikes! That's okay. Alright, so yeah, we'll just have Hope just basically just attack the B1. Kind of get that going for Noel and Lightning in the later half. I'm gonna regen back up. And another thing too is that I just realized this too as I'm, as I'm, because this is the reason technically I guess why I'm using um, Null, 
is because his EX Plus is coming out pretty soon, and unfortunately, I wish I can say it's game-breaking and amazing, like, I guess you can say Noel kind of was when he first came out. He wasn't, like, game-breaking, I guess, but he was really good. Um, his EX is kind of disappointing, to be honest with you. He gets kind of like, I guess you can compare it to Renoa in that sense of treatment, where he's, I guess they thought he was kind of, well, I shouldn't say kind of, I guess the developers thought maybe when they were thinking about his EX Plus, is that he already does a lot, so he doesn't need that much more to be good, uh, since he already is really good. Um, like, for example, they only give him Max Brave, they don't give him attack buffs, because his attack is already so freakishly high. Um, but it, I guess would have been nice to maybe just to have, like, a small, like, maybe just 5% attack increase, and then have the regular Max Brave increase that, he's ha that he has. But again, maybe that, maybe that, you know, that's in the future when he possibly gets another rework in the JP side, I'm, I don't know. But if he does end up getting another rework, I honestly think that would not be a bad thing. Because if his, if his um, Brave Attack Plus continues to be the same as where it is now, um, I'm trying to think, I think, hopefully this breaks it. Okay, good. That's why I was hoping for it. And then I can just EX Plus this one. Um, because if his Brave Plus stays the same, uh, he basically sucks two turns just to take a free skill, which, as you can tell, is really bad. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not... I, I shouldn't say bad, but it's not good either. That's not something you want from a unit that is... Uh, basically a unit that relies on, you know, overwhelming the opponent by breaking them, turn manipulation, and all of that. For example, like Lightning. Like, if Lightning was... Um, had consecutive turns that took up a turn count, I don't, I, I really think she would not be in the spot that she's in now because it would just kind of be very detrimental to the turn count for, you know, harder fights that require like, you know, 75 turns or 80 turns. Lightning really wouldn't be good there because she takes a lot of turn count and it's the same thing as when it comes to Noel, which again I find really unfortunate because he's really good and the fact I guess that they didn't think about that really, I guess, bothers me because it's like, Come on, like, it's not, it's not like we didn't have that, like, Lightning has that already, so it's not like Noel was, like, you know, a character that had to be, like, the guinea pig to give Lightning where she is at now. Uh, so I don't really understand why they didn't give that to Noel, to be honest. Like I said, maybe that'll be something they implement in the future, like a future update to his EX Plus, because honestly, I feel like every single, uh, early EX Plus character needs some type of reworkish outlier to their EX because the fact that Cryo doesn't have an attack bonus to her EX uh, plus is honestly re really bad because <laughs> she hits like a wet noodle unfortunately and a character like her honestly really needed that so I don't know why that wasn't something they did um, well actually no I do know why that's what they did because they didn't think that was needed in the beginning of Chaos Era until they found out that, you know, increasing defense actually lowers our brave damage, go figure. Okay, honestly, I should be doing just regular brave attacks here. And I can get away with a break. Yeah, let's break this one. Guys, we have our great little battery here. We got a big old battery, alright. Alright, so we got A almost to the point where I want it to be. This is the first all attack we've taken this whole, uh, fight. Um, so I'm gonna keep kind of dwindling it down just a little bit more, and then I'll focus on B. And then we'll bring an RNA to kind of basically deal with, uh, C. I'm so glad that Hope has like that little 100% on his on his EX because honestly, all all of that helps. All of the AOE helps. We need it all. Okay, so I, I, uh, A is in a good spot. So now we can start focusing more on B. Now doing the all attack. Let's actually break the uh, C. I kind of wish his C65 gave him the um, the little buff, but maybe that'd be too strong. I don't know. Uh, 
like the free skill buff. That would have been, really, been really nice. Alrighty. So we're almost kind of to the point where we should start bringing in Arnea and the summon. Almost. Not there, not quite, but we're almost there. Oh man. <laughs> no one's going through the whole time without the HP down. That's unfortunate. Oh well. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just HP attack. Get some splash over there. I wanted to save it for the last ad, but um... I really want to delay this just a little more. Um, yeah, let's actually break this one because it's a little high on the brain there. Alright, so we are going to take the... Maybe just Brave Attack? Because I don't want um, anyone to get broken from the, from the All Attack. Yeah, that was gonna do a lot if anyone got broken there. Alright, um... Yeah, after this EX we might be- we might be a good idea to summon Arania here. friend unit in. And what I like to do with Arnea is I actually like to EX with her first and then summon, that way she doesn't suck up too many summon turn counts. So, yeah, that's just me, I guess. Don't, don't follow my example if it doesn't make sense, because it makes sense to me, I guess. Alright, now we're gonna... well, actually, let's hold off on the summon. Let's summon on uh, Hope's turn. Uh-oh, well, yikes. You know, let's just summon now. <laughs> Everyone's too fast. We're too fast. Whew, RNA is just like... Sweep, like, mopping house. It's crazy. Okay, we got our EX here. Hey. Nice, nice little finisher. Alright. Oh, I thought that wasn't gonna break. I was gonna be like, are you serious? <laughs> Alright, so lightning comes back. Hmm. Yeah, 
probably gonna have to brave attack with lightning. Hmm. So I don't want her getting broken. Dang, she's just getting ganged up on. Dang. Shell gonna get its turn. This is this is pop up shell. Hmm. Hopefully we can kill. Okay, good. So we can kill B, but I don't want to kill it with lightning. I want to actually kill it with hope. So, let's actually do this. And we have two attacks on lightning, so we're gonna have to probably brave attack. Our skills are getting a little scarce on lightning, man! That's how it was, though, in, like, in, in my initial clear, too, so... Is protect gonna give us another turn? No. No. Okay. Uh, ooh, I really hope this kills, because now I'm, now I'm thinking I don't think it will. Ugh, should have thought about that. Now I'm just gonna protect them. I didn't, I didn't think that was gonna kill. That's okay. Mm, let's go ahead and break this one, so that way we can get uh, Meteor Zap on plus. One break reset. Yeah, this is. Oof. This is starting to get, like, down to the wire. Alright, so this should kill, hopefully, both the ads. Or both bosses here, hopefully. Let's see. Okay, good. Awesome. Now it's just a clear. Clear straight line of the finish. Just gonna delay him. Still gonna HP, right? Yeah. Oh, that was a nice launch. Oh, and imagine if that was like the kill shot. That would be nice. Um, but I think actually this might be. So, this GG. Let's see. Hey, all right. And next time we'll be using Null ZX Plus. Yes, I can't wait. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that, a full 13 team yet again for you guys. Man, I'm just, I'm just, it's cleaning house. Cleaning house with these Final Fantasy 13 teams, aren't I? Alright guys, well, I can't wait to do, I can't wait for Kaius' event, because that's honestly going to be a, um, an eye-opener for, I think, most people, because of the shields that comes along with the fight. It's nothing crazy, it's just, you know, something else you got to think about mechanic-wise for a boss fight. But with that being said, guys, if you like what you see here, make sure you leave a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!